Hello, Irshad. I have uh, Hi, never really How are you? Of... I'm good. I'm good. Sorry. Uh, yeah, I've never really heard about open uh, source PBX solutions. But yeah, yeah, maybe can you tell a bit about that? Uh, yes, like a why not? Good. Sure. So, hello, everybody. My name is Irfan Abdul. Maybe some of you know me, some of you may not. I've been in some other presentations. And uh, my topic today will be on open source PBX solution. First of all, thanks to MSCC for again accepting me as speaker. Well, different circumstances this year because of the COVID-19 situation and all, but uh, we are doing good. We are doing good. Okay. And as presentations are going on for these three days, I hope I will keep up the standard. And thank you everyone for joining, everybody who is here. So, the agenda for today, I will dive in directly. So, I will a little presentation on who am I. Okay, not long, just to get a glimpse. We will talk about uh, the subject about on open source VX solution. I will clarify something first about open source and free. What's, what's, uh, where do they join? Where do they? Uh, where, where is the separation between that? The differences between that? We we'll talk about what are PBX solutions. Maybe you don't know. Just saw the word. You don't know what is that. Different types of PBX solutions that we have. Some providers, commercial, freeware, uh, even spywares. If you have, uh, and the different type, the free one, commercial ones. We'll talk about asterisk, not the symbol. It's linked to the symbol, but not the symbol. And then we'll talk about free PBX. Okay, so, uh, well, uh, I, uh, it's not, that's the thing about virtual. Uh, I don't see my audience, that's the thing. I normally used to, uh, to, 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 on and all to know how, uh, how are you, how conversant are you to that topic extra, but no problem. So, who am I? I'm uh, okay. I'm uh, I'm a solutions architect for all these solutions, so different type of solutions from VOIP, networking, business IT, business IS, and uh, that's it. Maybe that's everything that comes in between those two: business IT and business IS. I hold a degree in information systems engineering from the University of Sakarya in Turkey, and currently pursuing an MSc in uh, software project management at the UM. Good. So, my clarification for today: OS and free are they the same thing? Are they different things? Those two terms are normally, are very often, I can say, used interchangeably. Okay. Some people uh, uh, use them uh, when they refer to the software that is just download any cost. Okay. And some just uh, uh, use them for software that they for of uh, GitHub, maybe you, if you are, you know what's GitHub, okay, the repository for where you can um, have source codes for in uh, in nutshell, source code for for different uh, scripts, programs, etc. Open source and free are two different words, as you can see, and they don't mean the same thing. Free is not necessarily necessarily open source, okay. So uh, a software can be free, but not open source, but an open source software can be free. OK, so the word free is uh, when there are no costs as such attached to it. OK, for example, one quick example that you can differentiate between open source and free. When you have an app on the App Store, okay, on Google Play Store, let's say, Google Trademark, uh, the app you download for free. OK. But if you want to change something on, on that app, you can't. If you want for Candy Crush, you want the name, the background to not be purple, and the be, you want it blue, you can't do that because you don't have access to the code written by the programmer for that, uh, for that app. OK. So the app is free, but you don't have access to the source code of it. This is what because we call it a closed source software program or app okay on the other hand an open source software you have access to the code base it may be not when you're running it but you can have access it uh, on maybe on its website on its community page on it or, or, or in github or bitbucket okay they they share the the the, um, the code base there 
for you to get to review it first. Okay, normally we use that to review uh, softwares for 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 spywares, for 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 uh, faults, for for anything. Okay, to check the programming, uh, the programming, uh, the level of programming. It is good programming practices, uh, etc., etc. The level of security. Many people uh, do that to to know about the security. Uh, whether an app is secure or not, okay, whether they can use it for their for their enterprise or not, okay, this is uh, one thing. Or you can also use that code base to edit the software, okay, or according to your use case, or according to your infrastructure, your system, interfacing with your solutions, with your uh, with systems on your uh, your organization or, or or use case, okay. Or you can develop mods, okay, by knowing how the app runs, how the software runs, how the solution runs, because you know the code base, you know how it is written, uh, where the where the different endpoints, the different APIs, etc. The APIs, APIs can be used also for closed software. Okay, you know how the software works. You work. You can develop mods for the for the software. Even a game, if it is a game and a particular game, you can also uh, write some mods for 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 that game or software. Okay, so this is what I wanted to put uh, to clarify. Okay, so because many people do, do uh, still make that uh, that mistake. Okay, either understanding or when using it the, the term open source is when the software the software's code base is available for change and review, and uh, free software is when there are no costs attached. Okay, hope those two um, is now clear. Next solution now. Okay, PBX exchange, uh, stands for Private Branch Exchange. In a nutshell, it is that phone system that you have when you go to the bank. Everybody has a phone on their on their desk, and they can just to go to talk, talk to the manager. Then leave the phone, uh, press three numbers. Uh, you uh, they get the manager. They they want to speak to somebody else. So they get it. They want to uh, speak to somebody outside the the, the organization. Is the dial one number and then the, the full number. They want to call head office, they, they have uh, one number. And they do all that while still staying in the network of the company or the organization, the bank, etc. It can be an office or, or a school, okay? You can have the, the different members of the administration talking to each other, but on the same without bearing any cost any uh, telecommunication cost as such for each call because they are the same network good and uh the, it's it's also the same the the the, the same solution that uh, normally uh, is used to route or route as, as you say uh, uh calls when you call for for example a company you are met by by a, a voice menu okay press one for english press two for french one three for creole four for four, something this two is based of a, a PBX solution, and then according to your choice, choice you're routed to some different menus, and then to call to different person. Okay, somebody will handle your call. This solution is called a PBX solution. Okay, they share a network to communicate with each other. It may be the internet. You can have somebody in Portland calling an office in in in, in Mayburg or Maibo uh, on that same network. Okay, because we. Can, they have already created the network with all the devices in that. Okay, you can uh, exchange voice, even video. You can have video calls on that uh, system, and also text. Text messages can be sent, and there are systems that also allow you for some special things, like like you can connect uh, your door to that to open it for using an extension. You can open the media. You can uh, set alarms, etc., etc. Okay, and, and uh, those. Solutions are not only for calls. They have super amazing features. Sometimes you have that the menu that you you know. Okay, everybody can just when somebody calls in uh, your your company your, or your organization, there's no need for somebody to take each and every call. Okay, the call is first filtered because we get English, French, uh, or a Creole, or according to the user base. Or oh, also you can have them. Uh, go to a voicemail if it is off the office hours and have a little message of, uh, before whether uh, the office is closed, etc. Et and there are mainly two types of those solutions analog or IP based. Okay, 
analog sometimes uh well sometimes back there was a, a box at the reception of the office where the main phone line comes comes in one phone line com, uh, goes out for the receptionist and for all the other lines go to each other offices and the calls are manually uh, sometimes manually routed or through buttons and they go on the normal copper line okay all this one there is no data network that handles it while on the other end you on the other hand you have solutions that uh, are based on the ip network computer networks and they use the the the, the ip infrastructure of the organization or the home or anything or any organization to uh, handle those calls and uh, those calls those data and that that data okay those are the two two main types the we have advantages on both okay the analog one is a quite a close circuit one okay you uh, it's different difficult to tamper or what tamper is okay we can tamper it but uh, on it's not that uh easy as ip based okay well the incubation etc ip based the, the advantage that we have is that um normally organization already have ip based uh have an ip infrastructure if they use computers, internet, etc., and the different devices that we have already share uh, IP. You can have computers being uh, PCs being used as the endpoints to to get to handle the calls. We have can, can have mobile phones on the Wi-Fi network of the company, or you can have mobile phones on the VPN network of the company. So we we already have some devices that uh, can easily be connected together through a PBX system for the for the people around to to communicate to each other. Good. So this is what I was talking, an IP PBX solution. Okay. So they run on the computer network of that company. Okay. And uh, they can be on-premise or cloud. You can have the solution uh, running on, in a VPS somewhere or on the, the on the cloud of the of the company. Not this is not necessary for it to be on-premise. We have to link all the devices to to each other, but we there we can uh, run it on on uh, in those two different uh, ways. Hybrid too is possible, and as I already said, you can have vehicles for uh, soft for analog, even analog can be uh, connected to PBB, IPVX solutions, and the whole thing is managed with the software. This is what our topic for today: that software, that glue. Okay, you can see. Here uh, on that diagram, a typical layout. The SIP is one of the protocols that we use. Okay, well, there is a, a one of the computers that are in connected to that uh, to the internet. Okay, but it is sharing the same corporate network as the whole organization. Okay, as they have the different USB phones, uh, etc. So the software software on the computer connects to that uh, IPBBX solution and even the phone when ring can can even can ring that that computer or the computer can ring the phone okay the people at the, uh, at those ends and like they won't even know which device are you using okay, that's the advantage if uh, compared to analog you will have you would have to have a PC uh, a phone physical phone here physical phone here for physical phone everywhere to uh, for that communication to occur but right here, uh, everything is being uh, routed through the corporate network. Okay, even for the internet, as you can see, the corporate network is here, but the uh, IP the, that user is over the internet. Okay, but they can talk to each other They're using the same uh, corporate network. So, corporate network. We are talking about all the security policies are being respected. All the 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 the. As I said, policies all the, all the policies are being created. You are still inside the network of the company with a firewall running, with all the IDS, IBS running. So you are not uh, there's no you are not uh, okay. The risk for for snooping, the risk for for sniffing, etc. If it is already taken in taken care, so you have all that advantages are still already attached to that the, the security that you have put in for your corporate network is already here you have just added a new a new, a new application over it okay so that's a typical layout for an ip network an ip pbx sorry the different 
providers for IPPBX that we have on the market, Cisco. Cisco is a very, very big player in that in uh, in that uh, field. Okay, as we see, most of, of those big companies, even banks, they use Cisco. But mm, some of them, in most, have moved to Avaya, or I've seen Yearlink also. But most of them will use Cisco, okay? Because the core, their core infrastructure already run on Cisco, they, so they just added the the the, VoIP, uh, the VoIP solution, okay? We call that VoIP, okay? Voice over IP. But there's an, there's not only voice. We have also uh, data, as I, not data, video, as I said. We have Grand Stream, which is uh, more the SME part of thing. Anyway. Well, in homes, we've implemented things in, in large homes. We have several rooms and all. Ring Central, some uh, more of the enterprise part. 3CX on the enterprise part, okay? And um, those, those ones are, are closed solutions. Again, some of free, somehow the free peers, Grand Sim, have only one, uh, one cost, one, okay, on one, one go. There's no rental. Cisco have their licenses. Ring Central, and Central have their licenses. 3CX had their licenses. So there comes in asterisk. On the previous slide, I had said all those closed ones, okay? So you don't have access to their bases. You don't uh, you don't have the opportunity to uh, to uh, mingle with the core code of, of the solution, okay? You can have a, have add-ons or mods, but not uh, not the code itself, okay? And there's the the thing that the the, the software has a license to run it. You have also uh, a license for different endpoints that you have on the system, okay? But for, uh, let's say, a typical office or somebody, uh, something starting, or you have a smaller home office, or like we have now, everybody is working from home, you have some to just deploy solution for for people to work, to communicate with, it, with, with each other. We do have open source solutions, which are free, and can be run on many different platforms, okay? That one of them is Asterix, the most com commonly known and, and, and mostly used, very, very big community of people behind it, helping um, deploying. There are so many push requests and, and, and new branches. Uh, very, very often there are the, the, those things. things. Okay, so Asterix is a, uh, is a one open source solution developed by Sangoma Technology Corporations from Canada. Okay, and they 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 define their software as the Swiss Army knife of telephony. And if you uh, know Asterix or you get to dive into it, you will see that that definition is right. They have almost all the features. That those multi, multi well, not multi billion, but several thousand of US dollars worth uh, solutions. They have those oh, asterisks have those uh, features too for free and open source. Okay, what's the importance here? Maybe I missed that. The, the importance of having an open source solution in your uh, organization is that you can have your IT team audit it, okay, to based on the different policies that you have on your uh, in your infrastructure, and also for maybe as per your requirements, you can have it. You can have the core itself connected to your existing solutions. For example, your CRM, even the they have their own uh, CRM solution, but you can have it from the base itself connect to your from interface to interface to your systems. You can, as I say, audit it. You can have a mod solution according to your use, base, uh, user, use case instead of going through different plugins and all. Okay, so uh, we get back to Asterix. It is written in the C programming language. It works on most platforms. We can run it on uh, Linux, on Linux, on Windows, and even on Mac OS, Red Hat. The different it, it was built originally on Linux, but now have imported to all the the different main uh, mainstream uh, OSs and, and infrastructures. Suppose most of of the protocols using the VoIP nowadays can have a SIP and H3 uh, H3 
three to three or three 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 that we have. Okay, the, those of you know we already know the those terms. These are the common um, protocols that are used for VoIP uh, communication. Okay, why do we have those protocols and have different types of for tabs, different brands, different installations of of uh, IPBBX running, and we they can communicate to uh, uh, between uh, between them when they have a, a common protocol that is being being used. Okay, and uh, for asterisks, it is the main the course of asterisks. It is okay. We just uh, missed first. It is free. It is open source, but it is con. Based. So there, there's no GUI as such. You have to connect to, to it through a command line and just do the the, the programming, launching the the modules, etc. But there are scripts that they can use. But as Eric said, there's no GUI as such. The core software. This is where FreeBBX come comes into play. FreeBBX sits on top of Asterix as the management for 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 asterisks, okay? So you have that, you want to deploy an IPPBX on your on your uh, network, on your corporate network, you have asterisks installed. So how to manage it? You can have somebody just finger with a, with a command line sends, the console can, uh, sending commands, etc., to add new users, uh, dial, uh, change the dial plans, the network settings, etc. Or you can just install PPBX. It is the, you can have it, here it is. Okay, so you have the 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 asterisk running in the background with FreeBBX on top of it to manage. It, it, it connects to the FreeBBX uh, through the asterisk server and gets you all the the almost all of the settings that you can ninety we can say ninety nine percent of all the settings that you have on asterisk to connect to add users to 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 connect the different tracks, to have the, the different interfaces run, and to get even the firewall running, you can have the services, you have the logs and everything. You don't need to finger, uh, you don't need to, as I said, to play with the command lines to, to be able to get those uh, those running. Okay, cross-platform, okay, FreeBBX2 is cross-platform, very, very, very small uh, uh, footprint, okay? It can even be a run of a Raspberry Pi for those enthusiasts uh, among you. Can even have the solution running at your home. Okay, different uh, the solution uh, the FreeBBX on your running on your Raspberry Pi on your home network with your different phone, mobile phones being the endpoints. Okay, then you can start to call each other. Okay, and then if if you want, you can also deploy it on a, on a VPS. Okay, so with those five US dollars. Uh, VPS and have your own phone network with you, your friends or your families or, or your, even your, your organization, okay? And there are ready-made distros uh, distro available. You can you can get it off GitHub and, and install it yourself, make it yourself, okay? Build it yourself. Ready-made distros. We even have images for those, uh, those Raspberry Pi, okay? You can have images that can be burned directly to the USD uh, to the SD card and plugged into the Raspberry Pi to get it running. Have distros with Linux already on it to, to, to run off VPSs. You can even have distros that can run directly on VMware or Oracle VirtualBox. Okay, I'm giving you all this because to show you how easy it, it is for you if you want to, to deploy that, how easy and cost effective. Uh, or even free, we can say if you already have a, a board uh, laying around. Okay, Raspberry Pi board laying around. Good. So that uh, I showed you earlier, this is the uh, uh, the homepage that when you connect to the uh, BX, which connects to the Asterix server to 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 man when you want to manage it. Okay. This these are screenshots from GitHub for both the Asterix and FreeBBX. This is to show you that those two solutions are open source, as I said, we come back to that. And all those, uh, all, for, for, let's talk for asterisk, all those folders, some of them are config, as you can see, config and, 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 and build tools, but most of them are the things that, that glue the app together and make it to run for the different functions of a PBX, or what is it like that, I, I said something, not, yeah, 
but you can have you have access to the code to know how it runs and you can even um change it according to your use case how do you want it to run okay that's it in the c language so you can know you can uh you can also fork it okay if you want to from Asterisk is already a very powerful VOI, uh, PBX solution that is being used by so many people with a huge community behind it. So if you want to build something, some some IP PBX solution, but with your own little features, but don't want to use um, Asterisk per se, with software, fork it. Okay, you fork it and uh, you add your your whatever you want in it and put it in another uh, in in your organization to run. Okay. So, uh, and on uh, the other one is for FreeBBX, okay? The 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 GitHub repository for FreeBBX. Same here. You have codes here. You know how you can see how it runs, how the system glues to Asterix, how how are the, the the commands passed on, how how do they uh, do uh, for for to set the parameters, and you can then. If you have some specific uh, use case, or if, for example, you know now uh, the the solution to creates users according to some there's a module in some page in somewhere that calls for a function. Now you can then have your CRM, okay, okay. when you directly add the user to 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 the user as a phone uh, extension on PPBX. That's the that's where the advantage of the open source com comes okay if you had a closed source or a commercial one i'm sure i'm so very sure that such thing would be an add-on that you would have to pay monthly okay apart from the license that you will already be paying per user or per instance you would have to pay for that but now if you have provided you have the 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 the, the skill to 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 code it, deploy it, implement it, and also maintain it. Sometimes it's much more worthwhile to just pay the license and have everything taken care of. But here you you have the 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 for those tinkers around, or and also for for organizations that want to have as much as uh, as um, control over everything they 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 use. Okay. Some places uh, to comply with certain security or, or, or confidentiality uh, standards, they have to have uh, to know everything. How does everything work? How does everything handle their data, handle their communication, and, and all? Okay. And as I said, that those um, the asterisk and and combine it with FreeBBX already have all the features and modules that those commercial PBX solution has. Okay, even the ones that, that, that we have, the Cisco one, the Avaya one, I've used Cisco one, Avaya one, Grandstreams one, and I've used Asterix. They have this almost, almost and also more features sometimes than those commercial paid ones. Okay, paid ones, I'm talking about 100, 100, some 100 USD for some simple functions that can, uh, quickly amount uh, sum up to to thousand of USD per year to to run those solution. But here you have, you can have it open source to be able to 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 add your own, own mods and free. Okay, so very very small uh, footprint on your on your bank account. As I said in my my the, the description of that uh, of that talk. Okay, you have dial plans, conferencing, follow me, ring groups voicemail, fax to email. You can all also have your solution handle fax to email that even this one feature itself is missing in many commercial solutions. Okay. I have people that, that want that they don't want to just sit over the fax machine and all don't even want to buy some fax machine nowadays. They want to keep a record of it somewhere. This is the, the thing we can use even those solution. I will show you how to connect it. You can even connect connect it to the to the uh, to, to, to your home through the to, through the fiber box that the went the, the went in. Good, and it even feature the firewall in it. 
some other commercial solutions that you have, you will have to have your firewall on its own. Then you have your PBX server on its own. Well, if it is running of some uh, Linux distro or Unix distro, you can have some firewalls running on it. But this one, we, well, I'm talking specifically for FreeBBX and Asterix right here, here. They already have those features. IBA, okay, let's uh, quickly, the dial plants are, are the different ways the course are routed uh, according to rules and parameters that you've set up. Conferencing, it's, it's, uh, the name itself says it, you can have multiple calls joining on the, on the, on the same uh, call to, okay, on, in the same room to, to talk to each other. Follow me, follow me is a feature that when you, uh, you have m multiple extensions, for example, one on, in one in your office, one in your home, one in your mobile phone, when one, uh, you can set it up to know when you're off, you're out of office, okay, to, so that calls are automatically routed to your mobile phone, for example. Voicemail, okay, when, the, when nobody's answering the phone, it goes directly to voicemail, records a message for you to hear, to, to listen to later. Fax to email, you receive a fax, no need to print it, no need to waste paper, no need to, no need to uh, if the line is gone or the, PB, the, the fax machine is down, you're not going to get that fax. This one, it handles it all and send it, sends it to your mailbox. IVR, this is the menu that you hear when you call your banks. Hello, welcome to XYZ Bank. Press one for English, two for French, three for Creole. Okay, this is called IVR. We have those features, okay? And you are still talking about the zero rupees here. Firewall, the firewall is built in itself. And the firewall is the advanced one that they use, that, that those uh, geeks use out in, 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 in Linux, uh, running on, on Linux system. The Asterisk and FreeBBX already have it in, those, in, in, in their core apps, okay? Or you can even build your own. As I said, the solution is open source. You have, have the code, you know how it works, you know how, uh, how the code, uh, the, the, the format, the, the, the thing runs, you can then build your own and get it running on this, on this, okay? For example, you can have, this is a normal uh, dial plan, okay? The extension, uh, the, when the call comes into extension, it answers the call, it waits for one second, it playbacks a hello world, uh, a hello world uh, sound file, and then it hangs up. This can be the simple dial program. If you want, for example, to when a call comes in, you want, don't want to take the call, but, but it will play something. This is the simple code. Or you can go very deep, okay? How to deal with outbound calls, okay? That goes from the, after the extension one and, and two digits, okay? Where to go to, etc. Or how to dial to local uh, extension. You, know, you have all those different ways uh, program or customize the solution to run according to your needs. But if that was a commercial solution, or not even commercial, the closest sourced one, you, would, you won't be able to uh, edit those files or change uh, it according to, you, to your need. You can have it in the, in the GUI, the settings, etc. But to go that deep, that deep down to those very lines that define how course or handle, etc. This is only is almost only available in open source solutions. You can program a module, okay? Uh, uh, FreeBBX users, uh, as, as I said, uh, Asterix or other runs on C. You can write those modules to 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 for yourself according to your organization how to deal with well, with different scenarios and have it running, okay? The free, uh, Asterix uses the, the model that we call load and load info. Okay, three, we have three main uh, main processes, we can say, three main functions, okay? One that loads the module, how does it load? Uh, how, what do you do when, when, when you load it? Okay, as in Arduino, that like we see in Arduino, the setup one. Then unload, when you are going, when after using the module, when, when we are, terminating the module, how, what does it do, what, what are the different steps that, in, for example, get logged that the module was to, uh, shut down at X time, etc. or close some connections. 
and we load the the we not load we have the info of the of that module that you've created uh, accepted by uh, by asterisk through this line. So basically, this what this is what what you're seeing on the screen is a module that you can write for PPBX. Now imagine those of you who know C language or any language, what are the possibilities that we can have? You have so you have you are having a powerful phone PBX a uh, powerful PBX solution that you can even write goes down to that level. Okay, and even in C, C with, the, the, with all the might of that that C has. Okay, different type of deployments. I will end. Uh, yes, I will end on that. Different types that you can deploy uh, free PBX or even the PBX solution. Open source. I'm talking still talking about open source. On a VPS, you can have it running on the VPS. DigitalOcean often offers five USD VPSs, Vulture, or oh, Bluehost even go daddy if you want, it's not, 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 not that uh, cheap. On, a, on your local machine or a VM, on a Raspberry Pi, again I said, okay, still talking about FreeBBX and uh, running on Asterix. Then you have SIP trunks, SIP trunks. SIP trunks are like you have those lines coming from Mauritius Telecom or any other phone provider. Well, Mauritius, we have uh, the landline is provided by Mauritius Telecom. The landline that comes in, okay, it comes from fiber, it all it uh, then translate to your phone number. Okay, that, that little box. There's a thing, but you can also not even if, if you already have an internet connection in in one of whatever way, you can already have a phone number assigned to you th uh, through the internet. Okay, through that protocol that we call SIP. Okay, the, the trunk is what connects you to that main um, that other the main uh, telephone is. Uh, provider in that case this uh, Mauritius Telecom okay it does that over the IP network you need to go and fetch a cable from uh, fiber from there to come to here if, if you already have uh, an IP network okay GSM gateways you can have your free PBX solution or asterisk connect to a mobile number okay that box that you see here it has a SIM card connected to it that you can then, again, when calls come in to that phone number, you can handle it. You can even have calls coming, going out from the, of, your, of your system through, uh, through that SIM number, okay, on the, on the mobile, mobile network, okay? One common uh, use for that is, uh, is um, when organizations, they, what, they, what normally they do, they have, as you already you know, different providers have different rates when they call each other. So what do we do? We have we mainly motion, we have three main telephony providers, uh, Mighty, now, now Mighty, MTEL, and Chile, MTML. Three of those devices are assigned uh, on the network, each one with a SIM from one of those providers. And we have, and we program Asterix to automatically recognize the number, the phone number that we are calling Okay, if it is a landline, if we use the landline of the of the system to call, okay, landline to landline, we won't pay that much. If it is a mighty, it is a mighty number, it will route through the the SIM card that is uh, the mighty SIM card. Again, mighty to mighty, you won't pay that much. And if you are packages, you can even don't pay, uh, don't pay for each call. Same for MTL, same for MTL. Okay, this is one of the one of the use case that can you can implement. Okay, and then for, even for this one, there is no need to fiddle with the codes and write codes. FreeBBX already have it in their menus. Okay, FXO gateways. You can have your old telephone. Okay, even the the, the ring one, turn one thing. This can be connected to your PBX solution. So you can have uh, your your IP PBX solution connect, uh, up and running and have your normal uh, analog phones connected. Okay. FX, okay, it's FXS, I've, I've missed it here, okay? Sorry, FXS is for uh, when we have the, those, uh, you can have those phones connected. The FXO, you can have the your normal phone line coming in. For example, we say uh, that we don't have SI provided for home in Mauritius. How do we do? 
like you see in the, in, in the, the device here on the top right corner, it even has the phone line that go, goes nowadays. Uh, long ago, it was coming directly from the from the, from the, from the, from the provider, Mauritius Telecom. Now it comes from the, your fiber box, that we call the fiber, that Mauritius we call the fiber box, the ONT. Okay, you have the, your phone line com, coming in uh, and connects to your FreeBX, FreeBX uh, solution, and it is managed by it. So, for example, in your home, you have a very big home, thank God, five rooms and your uh, kitchen next uh, You can have the call when it comes in, it rings only in the kitchen, okay? Or, and if nobody picks, then it goes to room one, then room two, room three. Those are possible, okay? But it is the same number, okay? Six, five, six, nine, six, zero, zero, zero X that we have, but it is managed by it, okay? You can have soft phones, you can have them running on your mobile phone, okay? Connecting uh, as an extension and accepting calls, okay? Or many other things, you can have even have uh, your gate connected to FreeBBX, okay? When somebody say they're, they're coming, you see them coming, you can dial your number an extension on your phone that just opens the gate. You can connect it to Arduino, those who know Arduino, this can be connected to. Those are the different advantages of having such system, those open source and free and free solutions, okay? Here, I will just add up here, a typical, uh, one example of deployment that can be very low cost for either your office or your home or your organization, organization, okay? Typical Mauritian uh, infrastructure here, internet coming to that box, the, the, the famous Huawei box, okay? You have your PBX, free PBX running on your Raspberry Pi here, okay? As the PBX server with the port open over in the internet. You have your uh, FXO gateway here. So what happens is on your Huawei one, uh, your, uh, your Huawei uh, uh, router or modem, the line that comes out and just branches to your phone, okay, you can now branch it to your FreeBBX, uh, your, your FXO gateway, okay? You can have a SIM card connected to it. And around the house, you can have, or the office, you can have the different IP phones. You can have, employees that don't have the IP phones can have their mobile phones connected to the system so, through soft uh, phones. Okay, different apps, you have Zoiper, 3CX, uh, you can have even some Android phones already have those feature. And outside of the organization, you can have your salesperson on their mobile phone linked to that network. So on your phone, in your office, you just dial the extension, it will ring over there. Okay, so here, what's the use? The Raspberry Pi PBS, a PB, uh, Raspberry Pi is running your PBX server, managing all the calls, all the extensions, all the the, the different plans, data plans that you put, and even run the voice of the IV or the menu and all. This one, taking your landline, okay? Your landline that comes in with your home number or office number, handle it, okay? All calls that come in can be, uh, is, is all calls coming on that number, then is managed by the, by the PBX solution with all the features, voicemail, IVR, call recording, uh, call forwarding, follow me, etc. Then you have your SIM card here, okay? So maybe you have a, a mobile number. The, the people we think you're calling a mobile phone, but actually you are calling the office network, okay? So the, the call can be handled uh, through the, uh, can be routed automatically through the dial plans to, to a phone, okay? Maybe customer service or something like that. And soft ones, okay? You have people not, don't, that uh, don't have a, a fixed place in the organization, they move around the warehouse, etc. they have them an extension on their phone. No need to call them for the normal landline or, 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 or phone network. Don't have ping, everybody has data nowadays. You can have it, uh, just implemented. and get, it is as if you're having your own WhatsApp call solution for yourself with the video features, but with much, much more features many more features uh, added to it. You have uh, menus, okay? Press one for English, French, press one for sales department, marketing department. You can have them recording automatically. You can have the login, the accounting. You can even have pay systems if you want, for example, for a hotel or something like that. And you can also have people from outside the organization joining the same, the network and 
benefiting from all the security patches that you have put in place, but also the system is handling the call. They need to pay additional costs for their mobile mobile phone, each of their calls. They can even call on the outside of, from outside of the organization, call their call customers through the phone number of uh, of the organization. Okay. So uh, while I've been nine minutes off my time, thank you very much, very much for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, don't, uh, don't hesitate to shoot it to me through Girish or Ish. And uh, don't worry, don't forget to send your feedbacks to MSCC about how uh, about my presentation. Okay, maybe I was quick. I speak quite uh, fast, or maybe I've left off some points. Go ahead, your questions or comments, please. Yes, uh, Irshad, I was uh, about to tell you, first of all, thank you very much for uh, for the presentation. You crammed up yeah. so much of information. In, uh, I must say 40 minutes because uh, by the time we started, I think it was 15.5. Uh, now it's 15.44. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah. my friend. That was a lot of information. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how you, you were able to capture. I, I know, yeah, I do. Because, uh, sorry. I, I'm because, uh, you remember in the beginning, I, I, I did ask you because when I uh, when I saw the title of your presentation, you're talking about open source PBX. I was more like, okay, probably you're going to give a brief about it and you're going to explain <laughs> about how you did a setup and do a demo. You know, the traditional yeah. presentation that we <laughs> used to do with yeah, yeah. open source stuff. <laughs> Uh, uh -huh. My friend, you you really <laughs> took so much, so so much. Uh, like I work in a corporate environment, and so I mean, yeah. nothing new for us. Uh, even in in the previous companies where I worked, uh, well, PBS was uh -huh, there. Uh -huh. uh, I've seen the Cisco once uh, uh, at one company. I've used Avaya in one company. Uh, right now, I don't even recall which one we're using because, and I think it is mm -hmm. Cisco. Okay, we're still using yeah. Cisco. I work mm -hmm. so yes it's a uh, a lot of people uh, might not know uh, that even at the workplace that this is a PBX solution and it could be replaced by something which is much cheaper uh, more exactly. affordable and more customizable All exactly right? yeah mm -hmm. you won't be able to do that if you go uh, on a proprietary so solution where you are listed sure, by sure. license and all uh, and those licenses are not cheap, ish, as uh, you may know. Exactly, I was about to mention that because uh, <laughs> yeah. I've had a, a little bit of a chat with uh, my IT department, and sometimes, uh, uh, well, I won't mention who provides us our BBX solution. I know, but I know. <laughs> I know it doesn't come cheap, right? I know. So I well, think even of, you know, yeah. even not the IP ones, sorry, yeah, the the digital ones provided by the telephone company of Mauritius. Okay, they do provide those PBX solutions. They come, they start at around five thousand to six thousand rupees per month over a five-year contract. Oh, you see? Yeah. Yes, this contract but, thing is uh, something uh, that, uh, that uh, an IT manager uh, told me once. Because you know, it is yeah, binding. Yeah. Once you sign it, you're doomed. <laughs> you are doomed. Doom, exactly. Five years. So even exactly, if you find yeah. a better solution along the way, uh, now you have to wait for a couple change. of years. Yeah. Exactly. So I think but, uh, that was a great but presentation. But many solutions uh, there to, to yeah. replace it, you see? Yeah, and uh, yeah, I was about to tell you that it was a great presentation. Uh, Ishad, I think uh, in one of the future uh, events, when uh, probably if the Linux user group is doing something, perhaps you can yeah. come up not only with the presentation, but also a demo because you know yes. how the... You know how the participants are. They always I know, like. I know, yeah, yeah. Of course, uh, you know, I, I know you, may, you know me very well. I always do demo, but for this virtual, I need to do how to tackle it. So you know how it, how it is. No, yeah, I know it's a virtual conference. Even when yeah. I had to do my presentation, uh, I was a bit confused because uh, my previous uh, in the previous conferences, previous DevCons, I'm mostly you know I do not come with slides. I just come with a terminal <laughs> and I, I say, just copy your terminal exactly. Yeah, yeah. So I was expecting you would do some something. You come with your terminal. Let me clarify something. Ish comes with a terminal, okay, running Linux, but on an Apple machine. You still <laughs> yeah. always saw that. Yeah, I remember. 
I was working for for Tesla <laughs> Telecom. I used to have a MacBook Air. That exactly time. the MacBook. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, Usha, that was a very nice catch up uh, down memory Thank lane. For exactly. Yeah. Got previous meetups. Thank you very much. Okay. We're running short in time. Ushad, sorry, we will have to end this presentation because we have no, another no, no. one. Wait, 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 wait. So, uh, everyone, uh, one of you, one of you uh, please uh, reach out to Ushad on the social networks, Facebook. Or, yeah, uh, on Twitter. My, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm on Twitter. Okay, cool. Ushad is on Twitter. Or, of course, if you cannot find Ushad, you can still tag MSCC both on Facebook and Twitter, and we will convey the message to Ushad. You can uh, enjoy the PBX party as from there. Ishad, once again, thank, thank you very much. Thank, uh, you. thank you very much, everybody. Good day. Have a great weekend, everyone. Bye. Bye bye, Ishad. Bye.